Hi everybody, welcome to Vlogmas! Excuse the mess that is my face right now. Um, I've just finished work and it's actually been such a terrible day. Um, and it's an awful way to start Vlogmas. But you know when you just have those really bad days where you feel like like nothing is going your way. So um, I interviewed for a job yesterday and they just told me today that I didn't get it and um, on top of that like the staff today were really just a little bit short and a little bit rude I had a patient complain about you know how slowly they were being seen um, and the lack of continuity of care with the same person and you know that's fair enough because it's hard when you're seeing someone different every time to keep on track of what's going on and so she had a fair point and you know I didn't blame her at all but obviously you feel bad um, even though it's not directly aimed at you and she you know specifically said that it's not you know, it's not my fault but you feel bad because you obviously want the best for them and you feel like sometimes you know yeah, you're letting your patients down. But um, and on top of that, I got a car fine. So, yeah, not the best. So, <sighs> shitty day. I'm not going to lie. So, anyways, the silver lining is that my best friend from um, Darwin, if you guys remember her, Jenny, I featured her in a vlog before. She's here, so I'm going to go and see her after I do a bit of study and have a bit of have something to eat um and then just catch up with her so i'll try and film that but yeah welcome to vlogmas <laughs> sometimes you just have off days and i'm you know trying not to feel too bad about it or be too negative about it because life moves on so i just reapplied to several other practices and i'm just waiting to hear back from them with regards to an interview um and yeah Add to my list of shitty things just one chopstick. Eating this with a fork. Here's new track and it's throwback Thursday, which means in our on the live top five. Finally, this one. Okay, so I'm just about to head off to see my friend. It's been such a shitty day, like shitty week to be honest. So I this week, a bag that I had wanted for the longest time and I won and everything. And I was so, so excited about was resold to another customer in the store. It, someone's just taken it away from you, you know what I mean? So I was so upset by that. Um, so already that caught a really crappy undertone to the start of my week. Um, and then the other day I nearly, well I, not, I, I nearly, I did, I hit a curb really badly and one of my tires has sort of cracked open. It's not completely blown but on the side it's sort of got a massive crack so it's probably gonna it's probably gonna weather down and do something but you know I've also damaged that rim so oh it's not, uh, anyways so I've done that and then yesterday I was nearly in an accident where I halfway ran a red light one of those cross intersections where you had a light for turning left and right for um, a light for going straight now basically when the green light turned on to go left instead of both of them going green like I'm used to I thought that was the green light to go straight and I sort of carried on going straight and then a car came in in front of me you know turning to their um what was it to their right and yeah I 
literally nearly T-boned them. So, oh, it was just, it was a long day. I had an eight till nine shift that day with my interview. And then I also, we had a really long, like a few emergency, a few emergency theatre cases. So I hadn't eaten at all because my lunch break was taken up by having that interview. And so it's just really, really exhausting. It's such a long day. And then department crash and then the following day get told we haven't got the job and then to top it off today with everyone was being just really crappy everyone was in a crappy mood honestly when i received the news this morning i didn't even want to like i was so upset i didn't want to see a patient but you know you have to stay professional so obviously i did my best to do that and i you know greeted everyone with a big smile and Obviously not like put my blame on them because it's my own issues and you have to sort of stay professional when you can. So I did do that, but nobody else seemed to because everyone was having a crappy mood and they let everyone know about it. So yes, anyways, that's that. And I'm so tired. I, I'm still crappy for the upcoming terrified about everyone tells me it's fair it's fair well it's probably fair for the people who have done the work <laughs> which I haven't so um that's why I'm so nervous Ugh, I haven't even like gone through all the lectures yet because You guys didn't know, but I haven't introduced you yet. I've got a new bag. This is my Faye. And yes, it's a backpack. It's a Faye backpack, so it is a little bit different from the Faye that you guys are used to. And I'm so glad I waited out for this one because I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoy this Faye more. And anyways, I'll take you guys inside. Morning everyone. It's um day two of Vlogmas. Um and I'm just gonna make a coffee. Excuse the messy hair. This is just what happens when you have a fridge and it's towel dried. Um, it's six, what's the time? It's 6.30 in the morning, I think, or 7 a.m. in the morning, and it's a Friday. So today's my day off, and then tomorrow, tomorrow I also have my day off, so I have my two days off for this Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday I'm working a full 12, 13 hour shift, so yeah. And I've got an upcoming exam at the end of this week, so I'm going to try and study for that as much as I can. I am just on my way to go to work for the reason that I actually have to print out some things so that I can study. So, not really work related at all, but... Huh? We do what we gotta do. I'm actually running late, so I just gotta make sure I have everything that I need. And off we go. Turkeys, so just setting out now. Um, and I think I'm gonna stay there for a bit so that I can actually do a bit of study. Um, our brave answer now, Taylor, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Is it okay if I just call you Tay Tay? Um, just <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, good, because every girl whose name is Taylor now has to just be Tay Tay. <laughs> it helps us to see the things we often take for granted. Yeah. 
that when we yeah, stop definitely. people and go, no, I wouldn't change anything about those amazing people in my world, but makes you appreciate them a little bit more when you really have that epiphany. Yeah, absolutely. Christmas tree. We're playing all day of work from Monday. Mix 102.3. City GM, which is like the perfect sort of school backpack, honestly. Um, like for a uni student, for a guy, even I love this bag. And this is vintage. Um, is it vintage? No, not quite. It's um, I think it's 19 or 15 years old or something, so not quite vintage. Vintage are classifiers older than 20 years old. Okay, so I think that's showing up a little bit better. It's really nicely patinaed. Um, it's like time to look at that color. And um, this is, I, was, I just noticed this, there's a bit of a stain on the zipper and that's from me trying to clean the zipper like when I first got it. So I got a bit of like that um, shining stuff. Everything is monogram at the moment. So what I do is I just pop all of my stuff in that I need easy access to in the pocket and then I zip it up and yeah this is it and let me just show you what fits in here um, I've got a laptop I've got like like 500 pieces of paper in there it's probably not 500 it's like oh 500 so probably like 300 in there I've just tied this like this so that I can easily open it and then that's what is that's what's inside I've got my um, Damier Emily wallet and then I've got what's this charger things like that so yeah that's what's inside and let's see if I can still fit this in that'd be cool this is a really big jacket I am I am um, not optimistic but that would be really cool if I could so. I've still got a lot of space oh. and I suppose you could stuff it in there a bit better but I can't be bothered so yay I don't know if there's any point in zipping it up honestly there you go I'll just have to be the very there you go Yay, it fits everything. And honestly, because I got it second hand um, and it's already got a lot of wear and tear, I just I just use it. You know, I don't worry about stretching it. I don't worry about scratching it. So you can see it's got scratches here. So it's really like, you know how people have dump bags? This would be my dump bag. <laughs> None of my other bags would be a dump bag. They're too pretty. But like a lot of my vintage bags, I just, I don't care about, well, I do care about them because I love them, but I don't baby them at all so I love this bag recommend it to anybody that's so that's the bag that I'm using and what I'm wearing is really simple it's honestly just a black shirt and I've just popped like a sleeveless blazer on top to sort of make it a little bit decent in the event that I decide that I want to sort of go somewhere else after um, but I don't plan to so yeah let's go
Hey everyone, sorry for looking so rubbish. Um, I'm just in the library and actually um, stayed behind. Um, it's closed now, but they've let me just stay to finish off a few of the lectures that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, and then after this I'm going to go home. I think I'm going to go to the movies, so pretty excited for that. The battery on this is actually dying, so I might just talk to you guys again later. So I'm just going to be studying today. It's going to be a bit of a boring vlog. Yeah, actually, I forgot to tell you about it. Yesterday, as soon as I got off the vlog and I was, you know, um, around 7.30 or 8.00, I got a call. It was from a missed number, so I wasn't, I was freaking out that it was work and I didn't know why they'd be calling me at that time. I thought maybe it was, I missed something for one of the patients. I was from a private number and um, I they left a voicemail and I checked it and it was actually one of the practices that I applied to so um, I called them up straight away and uh, got a job offer straight away so I'm really really happy about that um, so we're just in the middle of finalising paperwork today um, but such a huge relief and I don't even have to you know it's just good to know where you will be next year and I was just so nervous that I was going to literally be in the middle of nowhere um, in in Brisbane not the, not the middle of nowhere I mean like you know proper two three hours away from the city centre so you know at the end of the day I'd be living on my own no friends nearby and that was the whole reason I'm moving to Brisbane so I was terrified of that but you know I knew that if it came to it then I kind of had no choice because it was my own fault that I didn't you know, apply earlier so but luckily um, this uh, the practice that called me and the doctor who was going to be my supervisor called me and she was so bubbly and happy and I just got on with her so well over the phone I'm pretty excited to start and um, she actually specialises in skin excisions and even cosmetic medicine which is awesome um, and is definitely um, right up my alley <laughs> so yeah I'm so excited and then after that I even got another job offer um, but this one was further away it was an hour away from Brisbane but the practice seemed really busy really like um, there was a lot happening and there was a lot to learn so I think that I'm gonna ask if I can they would still consider me for the year after because you know it would give me the opportunity to stay in the city for next year um, and then move away when, I live, when I'm a little bit more experienced, a bit more comfortable and you know I feel like there's a lot more to learn because it'll be pre-exams so yeah um, but yes yeah, such a huge relief um, and such a huge weight off my shoulders because I don't now I don't have to worry about that I don't have to be interviewing and applying for jobs while studying for exams and I actually know where I'm going so I can start planning when to actually move to Brisbane and you know, when to find a house so oh, praise God you guys didn't know I'm Catholic so you know on Friday you know, on Thursday and so I was just like uh, this is so down in the dumps and I just felt like nothing was going right and I just felt like you know um, I really questioned God that time and because you've got to trust that sometimes things happen for a reason and you know even my parents said you know just trust that he has a better plan for you I guess you know when things don't go right your your faith is really tested and I still had faith that obviously he wasn't just going to leave me and that he had a plan and you know that, that something was around the corner and I you know just had to have faith and had to trust and you know, literally hours after being rejected I got a phone call um, for a job offer and it's you know quite st still quite close to the city and it's with a supervisor that I'm I've gotten on with already over the phone I think I like this one more because it's something that interests me with the you know cosmetic medicine which is not for everybody I can understand that but it's something I don't mind doing as a special interest so yeah I'm pretty happy and pretty excited so bear with me I'm just doing a bit of study it's 7 a.m. now I'm do a bit of study. I think I'm gonna meet up with Jenny, so I'm doing that. Alright. No, it's just they just do normal things like. Hey Jenny. 
um, just come back from the market and we are going to go for dessert later on tonight I think so I might try and film some more then I'm so sorry that I didn't actually film a lot earlier when we went to the markets um, but you know when you just get into those moods where you don't actually want to film you just want to enjoy the time that you have with your friends yeah I was in that kind of mood so I am home now Ugh. with my sister she's finished school so she's graduated with middle school congratulations Hey yeah everyone, so I've just finished filming a sort of mini review, first impression on this bag. Um, so stay tuned for that if you haven't, um, so stay tuned for that if you haven't seen it already and it's already uploaded, I'll try and put the link to the info bar below. But who knows when that's going up anyways because I'm still trying to edit a video that I filmed like a few weeks ago. I'm so slow and I'm so, so behind on these videos. I'm so sorry you guys, but obviously I'm trying to balance editing videos, studying for an exam and work at the same time. So yes, and tomorrow I have a 13 hour shift, so it's gonna be crazy. Mm. Oh yeah, Hi, everyone. Hello. So as you can see, I've changed into my comfies. I hope you can't see anything. But this is just a massive, massive shirt that I like to wear. Um, at home. Where is my food? Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to do a bit of study now. And I don't think I showed you guys, but I actually bought some baklava. Ooh, baklava, baklava. This is genuinely the main reason why I went to um went to Asian Town, Chinatown, Central Markets. Central Markets. 